Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I am back to cast another game for you. This one will be a four versus four, and it is going to be on Extinction. And there's no way I'm going to keep up with all the uh, friendly chatter at the beginning of this game, unless they stop right there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I need to stop reading that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the teams, and it's going to be Dalrak. The Red Zerg player, his teammates will be Archon, the Teal Zerg, and Crossley, Crossley, the uh, Blue Zerg player, and Pond Filler, the Purple Terran player. Their opponents are going to be none other than Elementi Stallion, the Pink Zerg, and his teammates are going to be Elementi Death, the Yellow Zerg, and Aeluge, Aeluge. The <laughs> orange Protoss, sorry, um, Aeluge, however you're supposed to say that. And I Glory, the green Terran. So it's been forever since I've cast a game on Extinction, and I've always liked this map. It's pretty cool. Um, there's uh, a lot of opportunity for some, uh, some early pressure here. Um, actually, the bases, though, are really shared. As well, I guess I've I guess I cast one not that long ago, so I remember blabbing about how the bases aren't as shared as in Megaton. But the bases are pretty shared. There's pl definitely opportunity for cheese on this map. Uh, you see proxy uh, gateways and barracks all the time on this map, like put up in this area or even down in the middle. If uh, one team is dumb enough to let uh, those worker units get in there without keeping track of them. Um, also, you can... There's uh, there's there's bushes and stuff all around here that prevent vision. So a lot of times you'll see proxy pylons and stuff in these bushes, and we do see a forge coming out for ALJ or AL. I'll call him ALJ. I, I don't know. Um, uh, whatever. Uh, how about Orange? There is a forge coming out for Orange, and he is chrono boosting a zealot. And so I wonder, is he going to be cheesing? There's a probe over here. And this is going to be a challenge trying to find whether there's any cheese. As I don't think there is going to be any cheese. It looks like um, he may just be throwing a, a defensive cannon. That's exactly what he's doing. Worried about getting owned by Zerglings at the beginning. There is a spine crawler coming down for Elementary Death, and I'm not sure if that's going to finish. He's trying to use his drones to prevent these uh, Zerglings from getting this around, though. But Elementary Death. Um, actually doing a nice job defending this the top team losing tons of zerglings and they are going to force the cancel on that spine crawler however at what cost um elementary death though has lost a few drones here i think he's down to eight drones and we see pinging going off as the top team by the way does have three zerg players so they need to really make use of this early zergling pressure as best they can and oh a nice shot though from i glory trying to use these SCVs to get us around but unfortunately too many zerglings there for him to deal with um, he did kill a few of them, but some S bunch of SVs died, and now Stallion is going to be forcing that attack back with some Zerglings of his own. And, oh, Crossley getting greedy. He's going to double back into this base. And Crossley, though, his speed is just now finishing. So where did those Zerglings go? They went right back in the middle of the line and are going to be able to take out a mule there. There's probably some more harassment going on that I'm not uh, paying attention to right now. Um, it looks like Pawn Filler is going for those Hellions, and he has just now finished a tech lab here, so he is going to be doing a uh, tech lab swap right there to get some more Hellions it looks like <clears throat> and there are Hellions over here and iGlory does already have his Hellions out and oh man but he is going to be definitely behind because of those Zergling harass at the beginning and the top team continue to be aggressive here Archon with a bunch of Zerglings looks like may try and peek into the Protoss base here but uh, Aeluge is throwing out another cannon in his mineral line, so his mineral line will be pretty well protected from Zerglings. As now a ton of Zerglings on the field for Stallions, gonna clean up that, and it looks like they want to try and counterattack here. I Glory with four Hellions trying to chase down these Hellions from Pondfiller, but unfortunately there are Zerglings here to defend from Crossley. But now Stallion comes up here with the Zerglings, they are going to get this around, and it looks like all of Pondfiller's Hellions are going to die and getting laughed at by his teammate apparently as uh, all his Hellions just got surrounded there and now Stallion is going to be trying to apply the pressure at the same time though it looks like uh, the Red Zerg player was able to halt the mining here of death for just a minute and he looks like he's going to continue to be aggressive with that Archon meanwhile is running Zerglings up here to try and help defend Pawn Filler's base 
And I wonder what pond filler uses to fill his ponds with, or how he does that. Does he use uh, dead hellions? Because, ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, it looks like there's a bit of a stalemate here at the top. No, now Archon is saying go. Are we going to see a two-pronged attack here and death? And Dalrak are going to meet here in the middle and bounce off of each other. And now Archon, Cross, Lee, and Ponfiller are going to run here. But unfortunately, they are running two different bases. We'll see how much that matters as actually the bottom team coming down here to defend from Archon. I swear to God, he had some Zerg wings. There's a bunch of Zerg wings down here from Archon. Getting a pretty nice surround there, and Stallion coming down to help defend that, but at the same time, there are Hellions and Zergwings inside Stallion's base, and he has lost all of his drones, so it just worked out there. The split of the army really worked out there, and they distracted all the forces coming down here. Stallion, though, is morphing in six Banelings. We will see what kind of damage those Banelings can do, as I do not want to miss any awesome Baneling explosions, as Banelings, by the way, very strong against Hellions. And here come the Banelings! Are they going to blow up on these Hellions? Oh wait, those are Aguilar's Hellions, sorry. And now here comes Ponfiller's Hellions and the Blue Flame. Oh, here come the Banelings. They want to blow up on this Hellions so bad, but they can't get into range. Nice micro there from Ponfiller as opposed to earlier in the game when he got made fun of by his teammates for his poor micro. So redeeming himself right there, dodging those Banelings. And oh man, Aguilar just lost all of his SCVs. The bottom team is in a lot of trouble. ALJ does have a bunch of, or uh, Iolude has a bunch of Zealots here. And Bonfiller, yeah, I was going to say, man, Bonfiller, you could just roast these Zealots. Um, what is Elude doing with all these Zealots? He desperately needed some Sockers out. And I guess he was worried about so many Zerglings, but unfortunately he ended up engaging a bunch of Hellions with his uh, Zealots there. And now the bottom team is in quite a bit of trouble. I'm wondering, did I miss any sort of counterattacks here? I'm checking the mineral lines quickly on the top team. It does not look like any of them have suffered significant damage. So the, really the top team taking it to the bottom team and it might have come down to that split right there and that engagement where Archon actually was able to soften up that army quite a bit and at the same time they were able to take out Stallion's mineral line and then bring it down the Hellions from Honfiller to clean up the rest and now all of Death's base has been annihilated except for a spawning pool meanwhile iGlory has lifted off an expansion and building down there and or no he has lifted off his main base to build down at the bottom and that is just delaying the inevitable as uh, some Banelings here for Dalrock are coming in and he wants to blow up on something but there's going to be a GG's coming down. Actually the GG's are coming down from the top team. There's the bottom team starting to GG's but I don't think LMNT's are very happy about this game as they do not want to GG. And they're just going to straight up leave so um, that was pretty exciting. I'm sure everybody's going to post and because it seems like for some reason every time that I cast a game that involves um, the LMNT guys, somebody or a few people feel it, feel it like they have to post in the comments, OMG, these guys are such noobs, man. They're only ranked number one in the team's like overall world ranking, so they must be noobs. Anyway, I, I ranted about that a few games back that I was casting. You guys got to ease up a little bit on the noob calling. I mean, when it's just that ridiculous, it's like, really? Really? Noobs? I mean, come on. So, like, how good can you be? I don't know. How good can you be? Sometimes things don't go your way. You make mistakes in StarCraft. That is the nature of the game, and the bottom team got served. So um, thank you, Archon, for sending me this game. It was a pleasure to cast. An oh, Pawnfiller even was going for double ban double star points here. I didn't even realize. Just uh, most likely because he did realize Iglory lifted off here and was switching to the Banshees to make sure that he did not do anything crazy down there. Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for me, and I think I'm going to take a break here and go ahead and watch the end of this uh, Celtics Heat game. I've had it on in the background, but I've done a great job of not getting distracted by it. It is now 80. Celtics have 80, and it is 83 to 80 Miami with about six minutes left, so I am going to watch that. Um, and anyway, that is going to do it for me. This is Ivory Starcraft, and peace out.